Hey, hello, 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 hello. Uh, this is Prophet Dr. Anna. Good back to you. I think we probably already talked on the phone, but I don't know if we have or not. But the video that I have here on my my right, my right, yeah, the video I have on my right is going to explain that to you. But I thought I'd take this to another level. So this is the next level. Uh, I'm coming to you on the StreamYard platform because I am expecting that some of you who will take advantage of the um, of the promotion that I'm, I'm using uh, to do our fundraising for Daughters of Destiny International World Deliverance. <laughs> nope. Daughters of Destiny Enterprises and New Global Destiny <laughs> World Deliverance Ministries under my apostle. Apostle Dr. Bishop Bridget C. Outlaw. I, I'm expecting that some of you are going to be sitting here on my left side or right side, whichever it's going to be, um, talking about the ministry that you are using this journal for. I don't know if that's right English or not, but the bottom line is I have uh, given you a call to talk about uh, the reason that I am using this journal to do the fundraising that we're doing, but I wanted to put it on this platform because I would love for some of you to be my guest uh, as I host various topics related to destiny identity with Dr. Anna C. So I'm, I'm introducing that through StreamYard and then through the video that I have here on uh, you know, <laughs> the video, this video, right, this video. I love it when I can just be real. So God bless you, and uh, have a happy day. Have a blessed day, and I'll talk to you soon. The video that you're going to listen to next is going to give you what it is that I am sharing. So I love you. Thank you again for letting me talk to you by video. God bless. Hey, God bless you. This is Anna. I'm so excited and grateful and thankful to the Lord. He is merciful to us, a sinner. He is continuing to show up and do exceeding and abundantly more than we could ask or think according to his power that works in us. And I want to thank you for allowing me to share this video with you. I probably already shared by phone what we're doing uh, with the journal, but I wanted to make sure that I gave you adequate understanding of what's in the journal. So we already discussed probably that the purpose of this journal and the request to purchase it is because we are doing fundraising for Daughters of Destiny, our uh, enterprise that is a part of New Global Destiny International uh, World Deliverance Ministries to my apostle. And my apostle is Apostle Dr. Bishop Bridget C. Outlaw. So we are located, if you don't know where we are, in Chicago at uh, 3016 West 63rd Street in, in Chicago, Illinois. But I am sh reaching out to people that uh, I'm led to reach out to, I might add, uh, because there's a need for you to know that this exists and why it exists and how it could be beneficial to who you are, what God is calling you to do, and uh, the people that are part of your circle, your network. So this is a journal in my hand. This is the actual journal that you will receive if you're gonna purchase it. This is the smaller size, it's six by nine. And then I have the larger size journal, which is nine by 11. Now the nine by 11 is going to have a different cover because I've decided to give the nine by 11 a title that reaches out to those of you who are discipling other people through counseling, through coaching, through mentoring, through ministry. And uh, so it has a title that reflects that purpose. Um, so both of these, both of these, um, oh, it's upside down, sorry. All right, both of these journals are the same price. They have the same pages, the same information, the same, uh, same, same book, okay, just that they have a different title. This is a personal one. It's called I Am Sick of the Lord, Faith Empowerment Journal, a devotional affirmations that strengthen your spirit to receive soul and body healing through spiritual intercessions that invoke Christ's presence. 
spiritual intercessions that invoke Christ's presence. Um, and I thought on today that I would share share with you some of those intercessions, some of those affirmations, and uh, give you some give some understanding as to what it is that God is hoping. And I do literally mean that God is hoping by His Spirit, hoping that we will see as value to the people that are part of our our families, our communities, our networks in the season in a season like this that we are in. So I'm sorry that is my phone that I cannot even go and get. Okay, so at least I was able to interrupt that, <laughs> interrupt and restart. So I'm good with that. Prayerfully, that didn't bother you. All right, so this is one of the affirmations that you would find in the book. And it says, as you can see on the screen, I am securely invested in confident hope through faith in God's sovereign and mutable character. Uh, the SIC came through a, a circumstance in my life, a situation that that I had to battle with uh, through be breast cancer back in 2005. And this is birthed at that time because I was in chemo and I came home one day and I was crying out to the Lord saying, God, I'm so sick, I'm so sick. And, uh, I, I heard the Holy Spirit start giving me spiritual acronyms for S-I-C-K for sick, but recognizing that as, a, as a, uh, an educator, the, the, the literary notation S-I-C means that when you see something on a printed page and you see S-I-C behind it in brackets, it means it is spoken exactly as it is meant to be understood is spoken exactly as it is meant to be understood. And so as a believer, as a person of faith in Christ, uh, we understand that when God speaks to us, he means exactly what he says, and that he gives us the interpretation of what he has spoken to us through his spirit. And so he started giving me spiritual acronyms. I started collecting them, and I knew that at some point in time that the Holy Spirit would give me uh, the opportunity to publish this book. I didn't know it was going to be a journal. All I knew was that he started giving me these acronyms. And this is what is a part of what God has done for me through those acronyms. So, as I see, I'm securely invested in confident hope. Just as I see, securely invested in confident hope. And in addition to the SIC, the Spirit of God wants us to give give a foundation, all right? And so the reason that it's not just securely invested in confidence, it, it is because God says it's situational. God wants us to learn how to be evangelistic and also using what he teaches us to learn to be disciples of others or disciplers of others. So I am securely invested in confident hope through faith in God's sovereign and mutable character. Uh, the, the journal itself is turned into a teaching tool and so I'm sure like myself you are going to have opportunity to help other people understand why you're so hopeful why your faith is what it is how it is that you know that God is God uh, the God that, that is above all things he's Lord of Lords why it is okay because he's sovereign and he's immutable and he can't change, hallelujah. So we can be able to be able, able to minister truth to other people uh, just by the use of this particular journal. All right, I'll show you a different one. It says, I am sick of the Lord, meaning I am shielded invisibly continually. <laughs> That's a wonderful thing. The weapons of our warfare, we are not carnal. <laughs> They are mighty in God to the pulling down of strongholds, the casting down of imaginations and every hot thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. God is a spirit. So we are, are, are worshiping him in spirit and in truth. And because of Christ's absolute and all powerful authority, there's nothing that's going to be too hard for God to bring into our lives when enemies come in. The Word of God also says that when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against it. I'm so excited 
about the way God is opening our understanding. He says, you need to understand that you can be sick of the Lord, shielded invisibly continually from every enemy by Christ's absolute and all-powerful authority. Look at God. Look at God. Look at God. Hallelujah. So, here's another one. I, I am sick of the Lord. I am silenced. It's like we're going to learn how not to be carnal, right? I am silenced in speaking irreverent insecurities <laughs> that contend with Christ's work of redemption for me. So back, back when I was sitting in that chair getting chemotherapy with uh, those drugs flowing through my veins that were toxic, okay, uh, I, I, I had to learn how to not be insecure, how not to put God, bring, down, bring God down <laughs> in understanding that He wants to redeem me, He wants to heal me, He wants to make me, restore me, He wants to bring me back to wholeness. And so I couldn't let my mind focus on what is negative. And that just happened to be one example, but we have a whole life, <laughs> lifetime of, of circumstances and experiences in our lives. We have to make a decision that is uh, either going to be a decision for God's intervention and God's protection and His provision and all the things that He would want us to receive from Him, or are we going to bow to bail and think that there's another way that could bring us into the strength that we need. I, I can't afford to speak uh, speak against the things that God <laughs> has given me to understand and to know. And besides that, or in addition to that, and even more importantly, is that it's irreverent. <laughs> it's irreverent when you are, are allowing insecurities against God God's way and God's holiness is irreverent. <laughs> so we don't want to be irreverent in any situation. So this is uh, one. I'm silent. As I see, silence and speaking irreverent insecurities that contend with Christ's work of redemption. And it should maybe say contend against Christ's work of redemption for me. Here's another one. I'm sin washed and completely cleansed or cleansed completely into intimate communion with Christ. Then wash and cleanse completely into intimate communion with Christ. So we understand that God has to teach us how to hear from Him. And yes, this is a sick statement, although it doesn't say S, I see it, it says S, C, and I. But the bottom line is we are one with God in Christ Jesus because we are sin washed and cleansed completely into intimate communion with Christ. I could have maybe said I am sin washed <laughs> because I have it. Well, no, let me not try that. But okay, it's not the time. <laughs> now, last, and last but not least, I'm soundly secure and indisputably convinced through conviction that my God cannot fail. My God, the God that I know, the God who is the God of all heaven and earth, the God of the universe, I am soundly secure and indisputably convinced. I, I'm persuaded, okay? That's a Romans 8 moment, okay? It's a Romans 8 moment. I'm persuaded, hallelujah, convinced through conviction that my God cannot fail. So uh, I want to stop right there because I realize that you probably, you know, have full understanding as how this is benefiting me. I could benefit other people through me because I'm a minister of the gospel and a minister uh, of, of truth, but it's, it's created for the body, the body of Christ, so that the body of Christ can be uh, the perfecting body of Christ uh, because, what does it say? The whole world, <laughs> I might have that wrong, is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. <laughs> Okay, I think I might have that confused as far as uh, the wording. Yeah, it's, the world is waiting for the manifestation, <laughs> of the manifestation of the sons of God. So you get it, right? Uh, I want to stop there and say, I pray that this is blessing you. 
and uh, that you will be a blessing to the work of the ministry through Apostle Bishop Dr. Bridges the Outlaw and Daughters of Destiny Enterprises Inc. through the ministry of uh, Prophetess Dr. Anna who sits under her leadership uh, and through this journal. So the journal is $30. I think I've probably mentioned that to you before. Both of them are $30. I'm asking you to get back to me in the next 24 hours because I need to order the books and I have to do that expeditiously. And uh, if you don't mind, please give me a call. My number is 708-200-1795. 708-200-1795. I appreciate you. God bless you. Have an awesome day today. Then do it again tomorrow. By the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Last but not least, I am spiritually sure, spiritually sure that I have inherited the keys to God's kingdom. Therefore, I am more than a conqueror. And so are you. God bless you. Love you. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so praise God. I'm so excited. This is amazing. Uh, again, I want to thank you for letting me have this opportunity to share with you. Uh, if you would love to purchase the uh, journal, one or the other, it doesn't matter which one, uh, please cash app me. Uh, you can do that. You know, if you have cash app, you can do that like whenever you get ready to do it. I did give you my phone number for that reason, uh, for that reason, for you to contact me and let me know if you want the journal. But I will also give you my cash app right now. And that way you can... Um, do that and help me expedite what I need to do before the week is over. Right. So my cash app is dollar sign Dr. Anna C. Dollar sign D R A N N A C. Cash app Dr. Dollar sign Dr. Anna C. Dollar sign Dr. Anna C. D R A N N A C. All right. I am excited. Thank you again for letting me have this opportunity to share. And I'll talk to you soon. God bless. Bye.